Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller and every 100 subscribers is a giveaway. And we have reached 1700 subscribers, so there will be a giveaway in this video. There will actually be two chances at a giveaway in this video, so make sure you stick around for your opportunity at both of those. 1700, I told Jen this morning, when it rolled over, I said, this is what, you know, there's milestones. This one actually felt like a milestone. And I don't know why, maybe because I'm getting close to, you get to that 1750, and then you're so close to the 2000. I don't know. This one felt a little different. I appreciate every sub. Thank you so much. Today, what we're going to be doing is opening a mystery box, a Mikhail mystery box. Let me start by saying I do not endorse mystery boxes. Mystery boxes can be fun but you need to go in knowing that you can lose money on them. And for most people, the best case scenario is break even. And for me, that's that's not, I don't want to do that. But some people, it's just fun to get some stuff and you get some of it you keep for cheap or whatever. But don't think mystery box is going to make you money. These ones specifically, I get from my friend Mikhail. He has an influx of stuff. His sourcing in his area is so much better than mine. So stuff he's not going to process, stuff that he probably shouldn't have bought in the first place, he sends to me at the cost of shipping. So it ends up working out to less than a dollar an item. I'm a value buyer. So for me, that's good every time. I actually have three of them to go through. We're only going to do one today. If it ends up being a... Because I, I opened it pre ahead of time just so I didn't have to use a knife with one hand or open it with one hand. Of course, use a knife with one hand. But if it ends up looking like a short video, I'll open a second one. But let's start with one. I'll pull out some. We'll go through them and see. Of course, I guarantee there's profits. I will make money. Not a problem. Easy. But every once in a while, there's stuff that's really good, like $2,000 worth of wigs. So let's see what we got. All right. First off... A bunch of hats. Most of these are new. I think they were probably display for a collector. I do, it's, it's been a while now and my memory is not the best, but I think Mikhail's grandpa might've passed away and he was a sports collector of some kind. I think some of this came from his estate, if I'm not mistaken on that. His thought process is always, I'd rather give it to me, friend of his, to make some profits than donate things to Goodwill for them to make profits. I thought that sounded good to me as well. But right here, that pays for the box. Because here, this is the size of the box. I don't remember the exact shipping on this one. They usually range from the $25 to $40 range. But right here, that pays for the box. Everything else is profits. It's it's a good, good deal for me. But I, I'm not sure on all these. It's it's hit or miss. So, you know, the tags are, are bent and things like that. And even though like this one's new... It looks like maybe it was in an area with sun, so it's got some sun damage. Maybe I'll lot, they're all Boston Red Sox except for this one, so maybe I'll lot them together. Probably not, because I assume these are around $20 free shipping a piece, $19.99 free shipping a piece. So you're talking $30, $60, $90, $120 in profit before fees. I mean, that's, that's, that's great. That's, I mean, I would go out on a Saturday garage sale in my area, and if this is what I came home with, I would be happy. So it's sourcing is not easy in small towns. You're, I'm, a, I'm very far away from big cities. My Goodwill is outpriced. Well, I mean, everyone's is, but there are no good... The closest Goodwill bins to me is a two and a half hour drive across a bridge with a toll. So, you know, there's a cost to that. I do well at it. Because I guess it's more of a, there's less to pick from, but there's also less people picking. So garage sale season takes care of me. But stuff like this really gets me through. I think I might be rambling a little bit. Let's keep it moving. But yeah, very happy with, with that so far, first thing out the box. And actually, I mentioned there's going to be two giveaways in this video. The second giveaway that's not the subscriber giveaway is everybody's favorite game show. What? what? That? What? what? And on this week's episode of What's What's that worth? Let's go ahead and test my knowledge, okay? So I picked out one at random that looked kind of interesting. This is a Ted Williams hat. It does look unworn, but it doesn't have tags, so I would still list this as used but in like new condition. I wouldn't say that in the listing because that just sets you up for trouble. Uh, it's like a suede on this top here. So to get entered, 
to win some tip of the mitt flips swag. Couple stickers I'll mail out to you for free. Couple stickers and a magnet. Put in your guess for what's, what's that worth? Do free shipping. Price is right rules. If you go over, you are disqualified. And I will put the answer at the end of the video. Now, with what's that worth, I'm going to, I'll do a, a premiere of this video. If you're there, hello. <laughs> hello, future Drew, who's sitting there as well. I said before, I'm going to try to start doing premieres on Tuesdays. I like to start that up again now that I'm kind of back on track. The what's that worth, I will try to do on the Tuesday videos but they will be specifically for the premiere. So it will be in the video, of course, but to win, you will have to be present in the premiere to put in your guess. Because there's been about a 50-50, I think, of people waiting till the answer was there and putting their answer in. I don't really care. People are having fun. They want their stickers, whatever. That doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. But I think it'd be fun for the people that show up to do it live. I'm going to start with that the next premiere. This one will be open to everyone. So go ahead and put your guesses in the comments and I will uh, put the answer at the end. Also, I think I forgot to mention, to get entered to the subscriber giveaway, also stick around to the end and I'll let you know how to do that. The next wave is there's some shoes here. All really good brands. They could all use a little clean job. Stuff like this where it's been packed up and decompressed and everything. What I do is I will pack that full of either bubble bags or packing paper when they're sitting on the shelf and hopefully bring actually for the photos. And then hopefully as I leave it in the shelf, it brings some of that back. I know you can steam them to kind of do that as well, but I don't have that ability or want to do that much work. But here's some kids Columbia. If these fit, either of my children will probably keep these. My kids, I don't know why, but they cannot not destroy things. So we go through shoes and boots and gloves. I'm, I'm saying my kids, that's probably just kids in general. Who knows? I don't have other people's kids. And then here's a pair of ladies Nike Air. I'm not sure what these ones are called. I can't remember. Nike Air, sure. But they're cool. They're sparkly, cleaned up. These are probably um, a fairly good seller. The boots right here, these are all guesses. I'm not looking any of this up, but I would say these are probably a $19.99 plus shipping. These are probably, they're a little dingy on the tongue, pretty faded. It looks like somebody had these for a long time, but cleaned them often. But these, I would say you're closer to your... $24.99, $29.99 plus ship. Here is a pair of Merrill Vibram shoes, lady shoes. And I mean, the soles are in pretty good condition here. Again, these, these are probably your $24.99 plus ship. And then here's a pair of kids Keens. Again, if these fit my kids, probably just go to, go to one of them. But actually these are girls, I think. Uh, eh, I guess not, maybe not, who knows. But because my kids, they just... Not only do they run through shoes because they wear them out, but they're in that stage where you could buy three pairs of shoes and they'll outgrow them in a year. You know, buy, buy three sizes in a year, especially the boy. Ooh, he's getting big. But these, probably your $14.99 plus ship, $19.99 plus ship. I'm not really sure. I don't sell a lot of Keens. But again, this probably pays for that box. So profits, profits, profits. I love them. All right, next wave of stuff. It's not normally like this where there's groups of things, groups of similar things. But here we have a pair of electronic noise canceling ear protection. I may keep these. We went, we, we like to um, go to the demolition derby or the bump and run in our local fairground, stuff like that. And last year, earplugs are hard for kids to keep in their ears. They got tiny ears, it's hard. So having another set of these would actually be very helpful for that. So I might just keep those. This brand right here, Sennheiser. I sold a pair of these that Mikhail had sent before. I don't remember how much, but I want to say it was $24.99 free shipping. So that'd be nice if that was it again. Um, and then these ones right here are unbranded. It appears like these are some unbranded headphones. That makes it very difficult. Because how do I look it up? How do I know? Oh, here we go. Oof, that was a close. Okay. I was like, why wouldn't you put your brand on your product? These are from Rosen. No clue. If these are $19.99 free shipping, I'm happy. If they're $14.99 sh free shipping, I'm happy. And then another one. These are JBL. JBL is a great brand. So hopefully these work perfectly fine. 
I, man, I'm going to be keeping a lot of stuff from these ones, I think. I might keep these for myself. No, no, I won't. Why would I keep these for myself? <laughs> I, I'll never use them. <laughs> just, I'm just a hoarder. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking, like, what would you, what would you possibly use those for? You have an iPhone. It won't fit in your iPhone. When are you going to sit at a radio or a CD player or whatever and plug those in? I will not keep these, but these are probably a little more hot. The JBL is a great brand. So again, $24.99 for shipping, $19.99 for shipping. That's all good for me. That's right in my, my wheelhouse. And then here is a JVC remote. This is probably, I mean, I don't know what this goes to, but this might be a $14.99 free shipper. I love remotes. I have run out of remotes, basically. Let's see what we got here. I have this Ziploc freezer bag, this gallon, I think it is. Um, and then these few right here. And some of these, uh, it's time to go. It's time to just pull them out and be done with. They'll never sell. I used to have, I don't know, four of these, four of these gallon bags full. And I just haven't been able to replenish them because my local shops raised the price. Cause it used to be 25 cents, 50 cents. It's a buck to buy a remote. I'm not paying that for a remote that might not work. It's just, it's not worth it. And then let's see, what'd they pay for this? $2.79. I don't know at what store this is, but there is a stove liner. I don't know what that is. Fits three burner gas at wood. It appears to be new in package. Just the package is really uh, destroyed. And then here is also a new in package Ozark Trail poncho this poncho 1000 percent will go into our camping gear we are a camping family that's that's our family vacation we go camping and then here is a two pack of fire alarms fire uh yeah fire alarms uh, original price 14.99 uh somebody paid 3.99 and i got them for less than a buck if these are again this is a eh, this is probably a free shipper. It's real close. If this is a free shipper and it's $14.99 free shipping, I'm still happy with that. Okay, so this is the last wave of stuff here. Here is a toy horse. It's pretty dinged up. Some of this may clean off. You don't want to clean it too hard just in case, you know, you don't want to wash off this if it's painted on. But toy horses, surprisingly decent money. And this is from Br uh, Briar. I don't know, some, some of these toy ho horse figurines, shockingly expensive. But if this is a $19.99 for a shipper, $14.99 for a shipper, that's okay. But it could be more. I don't know. It's it's going to be a pretty extensive clean job, though. So not super excited about that, but it is what it is. Next up, I don't know what this is. It says Bluetooth from GE. You plug a telephone in it. No clue. Anybody know what this is? Anybody recognize that right away? Yeah, I don't know. But it looks like it's got all the cords with it. I'll figure out what it is and then test it out. Here we have a smart bracelet. Not sure what these are worth. I know my daughter really wants one. So if this is fully functional, then I'll just give that to her unless it's worth a lot of money <laughs> because she's mean. <laughs> she is, she's, she's a preteen. She, preteen, preteen girls are mean, man. They're mean from sun up to sun down. If she's not sleeping, she's mean. It's, it's, it is what it is. I grew up with a sister, I'm aware. But here is a sealed Epson Ink 302 XL. As long as I'm allowed to sell this, it's probably, I don't know, it's an XL. So that usually means, you know, more ink, but it doesn't have a date on it. So I will sell this probably as expired and say that there's, and say in the description, there's not a date, you know, buy at your own risk, that kind of thing, which just so you know, does not cover you. Put some in your description. It doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter. They they'll just they'll decide with the buyer. It doesn't matter. And then here is a charger to a Lumix. Not sure, but if this is a nine ninety nine free shipper, this weighs less than four ounces. This might weigh less than two ounces with bubble wrap and everything. Um, here is a Vivitar DVR seven five seven HD. So this is some type of camera i'll have to do some research and see how quality this is if this is something i can use because lots of times i do want to use multiple camera angles to do stuff especially if i'm trying to do like a packing tutorial and i want to be able to not have to switch back and forth and using my phone becomes very difficult and there's always sound issues and all that so so maybe maybe this could be a, a quick solution to it it has a spot for a tripod i have tripods why not and then i don't know what this goes to but it's i mean it's an apple but i don't know what some type of, I don't know, an ex an ex uh, just a USB extension of some kind, charger extension. Either way, Apple products, this is, this is going to be an easy $19.99 free shipping. Here we have 
Looks like some of it fell out, but it's a Timken ball bearings. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're ball bearings. I don't know what they go to, though. These are fairly heavy, so I'm not sure if they'll get lotted together or not. I'll first have to discover what they even are, what they go to. But a buck 99, that's a steal. I would have bought those either way, not knowing at all. Now, this one I'm excited about. I won't unfold it. I just wanted to make sure it was what I thought it was. This is basically a tent pole. You know, you unfold it and it makes a rod. It's a training tool. It's a, uh, a golfing guide. You use it to, you can put, use it many ways. You can use it for stretching, for finding your lines. You can lay it on the ground to, um, you know, when you're at the driving range, you hit a few balls and you can track where your, your path is because it gives you a straight line. It's, it's a training tool. It's a helpful thing. I've wanted one of these for a while and now I have one for less than a dollar. Happy days. This one, over the moon, excited about. I was just talking about this with, uh, which if you don't recognize this, you're, you're a baby. You're very, you're very young. We sometimes, we like to throw on YouTube. We'll pick a year or a channel, be like Fox 1991 Saturday morning cartoons. And that's just fun for Jen and I. And then the kids get to watch cartoons and we get to have some nostalgia. And you also get the commercials, which is Again, fun for me, you know, the old BK Kids Club commercial, stuff like that. And then these for these learn to speak other languages courses. And I would practice the commercial where you learn like two words in French or whatever it was. And I couldn't even get that far. So I was like, there's no way these things work. But that's what it is. It's a it's a learning aid to learn different languages. And it just says multilingual. It doesn't say which one. So maybe it's more than one you can find. I don't know. Did anybody ever have these as a kid? Did you ever actually, you know, instead of just watching the commercial and pretending you knew French, did you ever, uh, and this is level two, apparently, did you ever actually get one? I'm not sure what this is worth, but it's just fun to see it. And th when these first started, I don't think you were getting them on DVD. I think when they first came out, it was more of a VHS cassette tape scenario, but just very cool to see. It was only less than a week ago we were talking about this. So that's very cool. I'll actually send a picture of this to Jen uh, at work. She'll get a kick out of it, or she won't remember our conversation at all, and she'll be like, why are you sending me this? And the last thing before we get to the giveaways is a Geigerig. Geigerig? That's, that's my guess. Never heard of the brand. Made in China. Guardian backpack so it's like a oh there's more than one here okay so this one i was gonna say it's like a camelback but there's a camelback right there i'm not a huge fan of selling these just because you know you got to clean them of course i just i don't <laughs> i don't have any confidence in my ability to clean something that somebody drinks out of that's not like a, a ceramic or a cup camelback it's a good brand this one's got a little damage here, but this is this is probably $19.99, $24.99. It would be probably a stretch. And this one's got like a hard piece here. I'm not sure if it's a camel pack though. You know what this probably is? This is my guess. This is a backpack for riding crotch rockets. You know, so when you if you fall, you don't crush your things in here. But I I really don't know. It has straps here, so maybe. Maybe it's for uh, skateboards. So you strap in your skateboard and then your skateboard's not pounding you in the back or smashing your stuff. I don't know, I'll find that out at a later date. For both of these, this one, because of this hard piece, kind of a pain, because it's gonna be long. I can't fit it in a flat rate, flat rate priority, whereas this one, if it's over a pound, I can fold and put in a flat rate priority envelope. But this one will have to go, it's it's heavy. This, this has to go priority. If this is not, if this isn't $19.99 plus shipping, I won't bother selling it because once you get into the plus shipping and the bigger stuff, you have to remember that you get fees on your shipping cost and something like this where it's not crazy, but it's, it's over a pound for sure. This might even be two pounds. And then it goes to Washington from me or California, you know, steep South Florida, tip of Florida. I don't have to pay the shipping charge. But those those large additional shipping charges, you know, when you end up spending, the buyer ends up spending 20 something bucks to ship something, I get fees on that full. I don't get fees on my eBay discounted shipping price. I get fees on what the buyer pays. So the, the you know, the, the discount covers some of that fees, covers your shipping supplies, but the less you can deal with it, the less, the, the less you have to deal with items like that, 
where there is the large fees on shipping, the larger your margins are. So that box was a fun, eclectic mix. What do you think? I will look it up and put it, put it on the screen here or here or so, somewhere over here, how much I paid for that box. I will narrow it down by date because I have three of them. Let me know. Did I get a great deal? Is there anything you noticed in there that is big profits, big money that I thought, you know, is a $19.99 free shipper. Anything in there you've had issues with, an electronic that fails often, let me know how you think I did or how I will do when I inevitably list these things because that's the next step. It doesn't matter how good your sourcing is. You could get the best stuff in the world. If it's sitting in your garage, it means absolutely nothing. If it's sitting in your storage unit, it means absolutely nothing. That's why I'm okay with my limited sourcing because I don't run an extensive death pile or money pile or backlog of inventory. I get stuff, I list it. That way I don't have huge amounts of overhead wrapped up in inventory that may or may not ever get listed. That's dollars. Don't do that. Have enough so that you feel comfortable that if you go a extended period of time without being able to source, you get sick, snowstorm, you can't get out, the garage sale season starts a month late, whatever it happens to be, have that much stuff to cover you a couple months beyond what you work with. But beyond that, you're a hoarder. Stop doing it. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of your time. You're pay if you're paying for storage, but yet not listing your stuff, I can't, I can't even handle those people. If you're one of those people, let, let me give you the, the kick in the butt. Stop it. Stop buying stuff. Empty your storage unit, stop paying for your storage unit, boom, you make an extra, what, you know, $250 a month? You're gonna, you making, you making, <laughs> if, if someone could wave a magic wand and say, hey, here you go, you can make an extra $250 a month, this is all you have to do, I would jump at that opportunity. And if you're paying for storage unnecessarily, then, I mean, Silliness. And that's 250, that's that's not uncommon. My storage is actually super cheap. That's that's a whole different thing. And so, for the cost of this Ted Williams number nine splendid splinter from hitter.com, Roman Pro made in USA hat. What? What's that worth? So this one was a little tricky. There are none of this exact one listed, none sold on regular eBay search. So I went to Terapeak. And I did find this one sold last July. Let me walk you through my process because that actually might be helpful beyond the contest. So I looked, the sold to listed ratio of Ted Williams hats, uh, most of them just say number nine on them, was about um, one, sorry, it was about two to one. So there was two listed for every one sold, which means to be competitive, you have to basically be the cheapest one. And the, the ones that sold, sold for around $19.99 free shipping. So normally that would mean this is going to be a $19.99 free shipper if I couldn't find a sold comp because I want to, I don't want to be the very bottom, but you also don't want to be the top because it just won't ever sell. There's not enough demand. But because there are none listed like this, so I would have the only one listed like this, it would give it a bump because if someone's looking, also mine was the only one that had a white hat or a cream colored hat. Also mine's a snapback that adds a little bit if some of them are, you know, that like ropey, strappy type that's the worst, I can't remember what it's called. And then fitted, fitted used hats, they can get stretched out, things like that. So snapback is, does give you a little premium. My thought was without finding one for sale that 1999 would be, 99 free shipping would be kind of the base. But because this is the only one like this one that's going to be for sale, I would add a little bit of a premium on it and I would list it at $24.99 free shipping. So then I went to check myself and I was like, okay, well maybe I'll find one on Terapeak. And I looked and I find one that sold last July on Terapeak for $18 plus $5.80 shipping. So that is $23.80 free shipping because this contest is mine to run and what I'm going to list it at the correct guest for what? what's that worth is $24.99 free shipping. And right there 
that pays for probably about half that box if it sells. That That's going to be a long tail item. But like this one that sold last July, baseball season comes up. With hats like that, where there's not a lot, not a lot of sales history, kind of what you're waiting for is someone who has that hat and lost it. <laughs> someone who who their grandpa had that hat. And they're like, oh, remember grandpa's hat? I want one just like that. We're going to the ball game today. You know, that kind of thing. You're waiting for a specific scenario to sell that hat because there's just not the market base for it. There's not the customer base. It's a long tail item. I'm perfectly okay with long tail items. So $24.99, whoever was closest without going over, I will reach out to you and we'll get, I'll get your information and I'll send you a couple tip of the mid flips, uh, stickers and a magnet. And now for the big giveaway, the subscriber giveaway, the 1700th subscriber giveaway, which what you get if you win the subscriber giveaway, $10 towards something in my store, which is very negotiable. I'm very much willing to work on the ask anybody that's won before. I'm I'm pretty lenient with the $10. If it's close, yes. If it's if it's either way. I did have to add a stipulation uh, for international winners. I do have to add a charge on there to cover, you know, the extra charges of international shipping. But also what you get is you get tip and mitt flip stickers, you get magnets, and where are they? I'm I'm still so discombobulated from being gone for so long. Oh, come on. Where are they? All right. They're right where I thought they were. But you will also get tip of the mitt flip. Yes, there you go. Okay. Oh, man, I'm a mess. All right, stick with me. You'll win stuff. You'll also get a tip of the Mip Flips pin for your backpack or hat. Or if I ever get to, uh, you know, a million subscribers, you can resell it on eBay for a profit. That's a real thing. That's something I wish I would have keyed into a long time ago. That these smaller channels, when they would do limited run t-shirt. There's uh, a show I watched, Critical Role. It's a D&D &D show where actual actors uh, play D&D. &D. When I started watching the show, it was a very small stream and they would do things like they would print limited run t-shirts or sweatshirts or hats. Now they have their own full-fledged warehouse of stuff, stores. They, It's a full business. They're the number one grossing channel on Twitch. Like, they're, it's big, big business, but their old merchandise is worth so much money. Because they're not going to go back and make more of it. They don't care. They don't care that somebody's flipping it for a profit. They care that they're going to churn it out of their warehouse over and over and over again. So that's that's something I, I kind of missed the boat on. I wish I, I wish I wouldn't have. But either way, subscriber giveaway, 1700 It's I mean, that's so awesome. I'm so pumped to be there. That's For some reason, that number feels... Like I went over a hump, you know, like kind of, I'd, I'd been, I think it's cause I'd been treading water for a little bit and it was nice to get a nice, nice bump. So thank you to all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate it to get entered into that giveaway. Baseball season's around the corner. Just talking baseball, Ted Williams. I hate the Red Sox. So whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go with, just let me know your favorite sports team, your favorite sports to watch. If you don't like watching sports, let just let me know your favorite summertime pastime. Because I'm telling you, I'm not a huge baseball fan, but there's not much better than sitting in a ballpark with a ice cold beer on a warm day. It, it's it's pretty great. I mean, a night game's okay, too, but you know, the, the middle of the day, a nice summer day, cold beer. I mean, it's it's really good stuff. Even if you don't like baseball, I went to a, a NASCAR. I'm not a NASCAR person. I went to a NASCAR race because my friend said, hey, somebody backed out. I got a free ticket for you, free ride, hop in the car, and you can go to a NASCAR race today. I said, why wouldn't I do that? I got the day off. I got nothing going on. It was awesome. I don't watch NASCAR. It's not like I went home and was like, oh, I'm a NASCAR fan now. But being there, it's different. It was so cool. So let me know your favorite sport your favorite team, your favorite summertime activity. Just let me know a little more. Give me a little more glimpse into you as a person. I like it. So that's gonna be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other. 
just really neat. Hey, hey, hey. Do they do they ever you know, really fix things? I have no idea what this is. What do I care? Let's go. I'm good at this.